Great schools in the United Kingdom began a stage reopening Monday, welcoming back the first wave of students since closing in late March. The reopening comes as the government begins to ease other restrictions now, allowing groups of up to six people from different households to convene in private outdoor setting like gardens with appropriate social distancing. Although the rate of daily coronavirus cases in the UK is on a downward trend, it is reported that the country continues to report about 4,000 new cases per day. Now, as primary schools invite back more than 2 million children across the grades, experts say they expect about half of the parents to continue keeping children at home. Chika Omori joins us via Zoom to take a look at this development. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. We hear news yeah. of schools yeah. beginning to reopen in the UK um, amid some challenges. What were the arguments of those who don't support the government's decision to reopen schools? Um, I think uh, the strongest argument was actually for those in nursery and reception. So the argument was, what was the purpose of having them come back? Because there was no the school term, they'd been doing quite a bit of online learning for some of them, and there was really nothing they would lose by coming back since the school term was almost, uh, or the school year was almost over. So there was really nothing they would be losing by staying back home. And they were the least, um, they were the least group where, you know, like the parents or the educators were worried that they would be losing anything in terms of uh, learning or education. So weighing it against the risk assessment for against the virus, they didn't think it was worth their coming back. What is the argument in favor of reopening, um, especially for the young children? Well, the main argument, well, it's obviously uh, an economic one for uh, the government. They want to slowly ease uh, parents back to work and it would be easier if the younger ones were in school so that would uh, take out the worry of child care for children with uh, children in such groups but they also have children in year six and in the higher schools as well who are going back well it's more of an economic one so trying to make it easier for parents to get back to work as soon as possible without having to worry about child care what are some of the preparations uh, that are being put in place that you know perhaps uh, to ensure that this move to reopen isn't followed by a huge spike in numbers? Um, well, there's a guideline by the DFE, which is the Department of Education for every school. And every school um, has also put in place their own risk assessments based on their own logistics. and. So every um, different schools have different um, procedures in place. For well, a couple of schools, I know they're having what we call bubbles. So each class that's coming back, so say those in nursery or year six, you have bubbles of or clusters of a couple of children. So for example, a school I know, they're having bubbles of eight to 10 children. And those 10 children, eight to 10 children will be in a class and they would do everything together throughout the rest of the school year. So they would have their meals together, they would play, uh, have classes together, and they won't interact with anybody else in the school, even their other peers in other years. So that's the cluster that stays together throughout the rest of them. So the, it's easier for the teachers and the learning assistants to monitor them and make sure they're keeping to all the health guidelines, the social distancing, the washing of hands. Um, that. Okay, uh, the, we've been yeah. asking you for the perception and the positions, but as a parent, how assured mm. are you by the measures being taken that your child will be safe enough to resume a school? Um, well, as a parent, to be honest, there's no 100% guarantee that they would be safe, but with the, the schools have been in touch, they keep uh, updating us with what they're putting in place. Are you happy with this? And it's also not compulsory for the children to go back. They could continue with the e-learning 
they're having at the moment. So it's really down to the parent. But for me as a parent, we have been in uh, the schools have been in constant uh, communication with me, and I'm confident to say um, I think it would be good. I would let my children go, and weighing it against the risk, I think they would be okay. And yeah, I think it would be in their best interest actually to to be able to go back to school. It's it's easier for them learn in the in that environment than All right, being at go. home. Thank you very much for your thoughts and your time with us. Thank you very much.